Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you very much for this day. We glorify you for great worship. We offer everything to you because you are a great God and you are the owner of our lives. Do you say pray? Amen. Amen. Yeah. All right. So, siguro, kaya we always be inspired by uh, doing this every Sunday. Ito si Brother Don, the presider nila. So, nevertheless, we give clap offering, clap one out to the Lord. So, featuring our church, Jan, P. Herbert, the Bidian, Poging Herbert, Poging Jamar. The Sri Lanka, many palpasalikot, Chaka, Isang Bansan, Agana, and the Kunashinama Palazon. Since I'm all along Tokase to his par us, because he's right now, no more. We continue. Thank you, that's right. Go, 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 la. Tuloy, tuloy lang tayo. Ayan. What God said who we are. That's our topic for today. What, what God said who we are. Ano sabi ni Lord? Sino daw tayo? Ayan. Sino ka? Who is you? Ayan. Next slide. Yan ang title ng ating pag-aaral for today. Thanks. Next. Ganda na nga ang task ko natin. Samsung. Deuteronomy 28, 114. Bilisan ko lang. If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all His commands, I give you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations on earth. And all these blessings will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. You will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. The fruit of your womb will be blessed and the crops of your land and the young of your livestock, the calves on your herds and the lambs on your flocks. Sa Israel sinasabi ni Yahweh, pero para sa atin na rin. Next. Rastin ba itong akin? Yeah, medyo mabali ako eh. Your basket and your kneading too will be blessed. You will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. Sabi sa akin ni Yabi dyan, no? Sige, next. Alright. Or this later, um, verses yan. The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. Sabi, pag may umaaway daw sa'yo, matatalo. The, they will come at from, uh, from direction but flee from you in seven. The Lord will send a blessing on your barns and everything you put, you hand to. The Lord your God will bless you in the land is giving you, the Lord will establish you as His holy people and promise you on oath that if you keep the commands of the Lord your God and walk with obedience to Him, then all the peoples on earth will see that you are called by the name of the Lord and they will fear you. The Lord will grant you abundant prosperity, in the fruit of your womb, the young of your livestock, and the crops of your ground, and the land you swore to your ancestors to give to you. Next slide. Verse 12, the Lord will open the heavens, wow, the storehouse of his bonds to send rain in your land, in season to bless all the work of your hands. You will uh, lead to many nations, but you will borrow from none. Uh, the Lord will make you the head, not the tail, uh, the land. If you pay attention to the commands of the Lord, your God, I give you this day, and carefully follow them, you will always be at the top, wow, never at the bottom. Do not turn aside from any of the commands I give today, to the right or to the left, following other gods and serving them. So, palay na pag-abasa ng Panginoon, sinabi ni Yahweh ito sa mga Israelita at para rin sa atin ngayon. Slide, natin rin please, yeah. Kasi natin. Alright, ang sabi ni God sa lesson natin, that God told the children of Israel would be theirs if they kept His commands. Ano raw yung mapapa sa kamay ng mga Israelita o natin kung tayo ay sumusunod sa Diyos. And as we've shared, there are 10 commandments, but there are a lot of like almost 700 commandments in Israel na sinusunod nila nung panahon nyo. Sobrang dami. Okay, next slide please. Ano rin pwede sa atin? Ayan. The Lord will make you the head and the tail. Hindi karakos ha. Puso kasi yung karakos lalo sa mga nagbibenta ng sapatos para pa nakita nyo. Or may deal sila. Para kung ano yung price. So sino manalo yun susunod. Hindi karakos. Sabihin, we will, we will lead. We will win. Ayan yung sabihin ng talata ng Diyos. Alright, next slide please. And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You shall be above only and not be. Uh, itong verse ito, matagal ko lang sa darin eh. Bata pa ako. Uh, sa mga, sa competition, sa work, sa pag-aaral, sa lahat ng larangan, sinasabi ito para encourage Christians to, to win in any game of life. Pang-encourage ko, ang dami yung verse. Pang palakas ng Lord. Next slide please. Para hindi kayo maginaanan mo. Number two point, confirm that we as believers in Christ we become qualified and eligible for all the promises God gave to Abraham. So, yan. Ibig sabihin, bilang believers ni God, qualified and eligible tayo to 
received blessings from God even before uh, Ibrahim, Father Abraham. Yeah, next slide. All right. Yes, diba? In Galatians 3, 29, basahin ito sabay-sabay, 1, 2, 3. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Pag i-claim natin, sabihin, if you have faith in God, the blessings of God of Yahweh will be with us and for us. And siyempre, all aspects ng blessings, mapapasa kamay natin. Because tayo will believe in Jesus Christ. Next slide. Ganda na natin. Touch with you. Ayan. Sabi dito, before we were saved, Satan was behind the wheel and taking control of our lives. On the moment we accept Jesus, Jesus kicked out Satan out of our lives and allow us to to drive our lives with Satan outside and Jesus is leading us. Sabi dito, Jesus put us in the driver's seat. So we're now in control and we have to decide where the car goes. So we have the help of the Holy Spirit. We can lead our life and live a new way, uh, way of living according to the word of the Lord. Next slide. Ah. We are Christ's ambassadors as though we are making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. Second Corinthians 5.20, sabi ni Apostle Paul, tayo rin po ay ambassador ni Christ, sabihin, representante na nagbibigay ng luwalhati at gospel is ng gospel sa mga tao, lalo ron sa mga nawawala ng malasang bilas. Masabilig. Next slide. Yun po yan. All right, we have a very high ranking and influential job in sharing the word of the Lord, and there are angels assigned on us. Sino niyo alam na angel? Pasa ka mo. Dami niya. May angels pizza, angels burger. <laughs> so sabi ko sa angels burger, unang nagat, ginamay agad. Ginamay <laughs> lang. Yeah, actually, may angel talaga tayo, no? I remember one testimony, no? Just lang. Noong kaya pala ni Ate, tapos si Red palang baby namin, maliit yung bahay namin, mapahan sa supatata. Hindi ko nata namin si Red sa loob, bibili kami ng pagkain ni Ate Red. Sa loob lang ng room. Tapos pagdating namin, ewan ko kung nangulog pa sakta yun. Basta nangulog si Ate Red, pero nayakap niya yung mga kumot niya. Pagbagsak. Kuha niya lang. So, pagbagsak niya, may kumot siya, may muna. Ito, di ba? So, hindi siya nasaktan. So, that's what we call angels. Totoo yun. Lali mga maliliit na bata, kita kita may angel. Kahit na mukha tayong demonyo, may angel tayo. Next slide. <laughs> okay, huwag ka na lang. <laughs> Kahit mukha tayong demonyo, may angel tayo. Huwag niyo nga alin sa isip niya. Romans 8, 31, 37. Ano, tapos ko, Angie. Who can separate us from Christ's love? Can draw for a hard time to harm or hunger? Can nakedness or danger or war? It is written. Because of you, we face death all day long. We are considered a seed to be killed. None in all these things were more than winners. Yeah, winner. We owe it to Christ who has loved us. Sa ibang salin, conquer yan. Yung nga nga, mas gusto ko yung winner. Gusto mo siya winner ngayon. Panahalo, winner. Sabihin natin, winner. Winner. Yeah. Winner. Okay. Next slide, please. Alright. Sabihin, panalo kay Kristo. Tayo pag-ibig niya, walang makakapag-iwalay sa atin. Yan ang sibig sabihin niya. Next slide. Alright. Yan. Yeah. Atin, di ba? Yan. Gandang picture, di ba? Because we are connected to Christ, and this connection cannot be broken by the enemy. We are champions in the battle, not the losers. Alam niyo bang nanalo ang gilas? 61 years after. Nakagod. 1962 yung nakaraan eh. Nanalo ulit sa Asian Games ang gold. So, six, wala pa tayo lahat. Kasi 1962 yung ulit champion ng Pinas. Nanalo ulit, di ba? Salamat kay Chutre, yes, di ba? Kasi nagpawabaya siya eh. Kasi kung hindi nagpawabaya, talo na naman. Anyway, para sa buhay natin, Para na rin tayo, ang ng gilas. Kaya natin ang natin, di ba? Kaya natin ang Counter blessings, yan. Si Joe Marichan, pagdating ng Pasko, nagpapakaw ng blessings sa ating lahat. Sabi dyan, counter blessings. Marami yan. Next, 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 mga atilin. Sabi, and the nation will be exalted over other nations. If a country is obedient to God, He promises to exalt the country above other nations. Okay? Yeah, click mo ati, ati, you know. Yan. Kita mo ngayon ati, ah, uh, sige, Jen. Down, down mo, yan. Kita nyo to? Ano pa natin si Lord? If the country is obedient to God, He promises to exalt the country above other nations. Like I said, sa inyo, hindi naman tayo trip, nag-trip lang na gusto natin yung Korea because sikat sila ngayon. Actually, mahaban ka ng daanan bago sila umangat. Oo, oh, marami rin sila ngayon. Dahil tapos, talagang tinaas ng bansa nila si Jesus. Ang dami mga missionaries sa Pilipinas 90s, 
in the early 2000s, nag sa Pilipinas, nagpatay ng mga churches. Lalo yung uh, mas naunang sumikat kaysa kay Reverend Ibram Park, si Paul Young Gichu. Siya yung pinaka-biggest Christian church sa Korea. Para sa kaalaman nyo lang. Sa bata ko siya, napakakalam ko ng ang Koreano ay marugbog ang pagmamahal kay Jesus. Yeah. Wow naman, talagang pahalaan ko dito. Una talagang pagpapahala. Amen! Sorry, absent. Sorry, wala. Tatagdal na namin kayo. May pabarang na si Eto, si Emin. Ibisa ko na. O, nakita niyo ba? Para hindi niyo alam yung kwenta, ba't natin trip na trip sila ngayon, di ba? Kasi nagdasal yung bansa nila. Kaya sila nagwabagi ngayon ko yan. Huwag na tayong magpa-plastic talaga. Gusto talaga natin sila. Alam natin yan, di ba? Kaya yung pastor niyo, O-Pops, di ba? O-Pops! Guys, <laughs> O-Pops! <laughs> Alright, an obedient individual will exalt it within the nation, di ba? God's many blessings throughout the Bible shows that He wants to bless you and me. Alright? Sabi ko nga sa mga susunod na panahon, gusto ko dumating yung panahon na pas, na-receive mo na ba yung Lord, kung pinasakot ng Lord. Hindi, <laughs> darating yan. Darating yan. Darating yan. Okay, yung ano, di ako nag-joke lang para magpatawa lang. Itul ka. Di ba? Yung nasa kayo, paparayan niyo ang pas, di ka. Pasayin sa kotse. Pibuta lang tayo. Tapos, gagkasadin yung kasakyan mo. Ano yun? 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 Pas, gas lang. Kapit na tayo. Di ba? Tapos sinasabi ko sa inyo para marubot kayo ng pangarap. Kasi si Lord, hindi naman kayo pababayaan. Ito din mo rito, eh, pag lakad-lakad mo pupunta dito, alam ang di nakikita ni Jesus Christ yan. Di ba? Nakaarawa ko yun, nakulo na kayo, hindi ako kita. Uh, para yung mga ano dyan, di ba? Yung tatong bibi. Ayaw ko pala kayo. Ang <laughs> gano'n, <laughs> 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 diba? basahan kayo, di ba? Wala pa sa Diyos. Sabo, man. Slide days, meron, meron. Nakala nyo lang, wala. Pero meron. <laughs> an vision nation will be blessed with success. God will bless an vision nation in all that it does. Bless all you when you come in and bless all you when you go out. Grabe, no? Ito yung gusto ko ngayon pa sa isto. Si Abraham, sumunod siya. And by the time Abraham was very old, the Lord had blessed Abraham in every way. Sayang wala si Kuya Abe, para sa kanya dito. No? Then paala ng Panginoon si Abraham, tumanda. Sino gusto tumanda? Baka siya may? Tumanda. Tumanda? Ako ay tumanda. Ay, tumanda? Tumanda, tumanda. Mabot na 70, 80. Mahirap pa ka ako 90 eh. Pero 80, masaya ka na, di ba? Mama, tabi. Next slide. Bigay sa atin ng Panginoon. Alright. Ito pa matindi. As a result of faith and obedience during testing, God rewarded Job by allowing him to be lead to live at 140. Na magkaroon na last time, di ba? May sina yung buhay. So 140 na lang. Mahaba na yan that time ng panahon niya. After all that happened, Job lived for 140 years. He saw his children, his grandchildren, and his great-grandchildren. Children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. Uh, 140 eh, di ba? Sarap. Tsaka masarap, abutin na 100. May 100k kaibong-bong. Okay, ako sinong presidente yung abutin po. 100k, meron talaga, may reward. Yeah, next slide please, sa mga magpa-100 years old, merong uh, incentivo sa gobyerno. God can bless a divine nation with prosperity. Yan, gusto naman natin, di ba? Gusto natin pagpalaan. The Lord will command the blessings upon you and your barns and all that you put your hand to and He will bless you in the land which the Lord your God gives you. Pagpapalaan tayo ng Panginoon. At syempre, Proverbs 22, 20, verse 9, Those who give freely will be blessed. That's because they share their food with those who are poor. Wala pa yung verse na. Andiyan na. Para pa ka natin po yung lawan. Amen! Amen! Walang di scripted. Wala yan. Hindi alam na yan. O, andiyan na. Nauna na yung pagkain, bago yung slide. Next slide, please. So, amen, amen. So, giving is also the one area where God invites you to test him. Ah, bata pa kayo, pero hindi ko masyado tinuturo to Baka makuryente kayo sa turo. Pero tuturo ko na rin, okay? Bibigyo ko yung sample. Tarotin, Malakay 310. Malakay 3 Malakay 310. Malakay 310. Diyan, Malachi, ah. <laughs> Malakay. Ito yung Bible verse. Ba't tayo nagbabasket? As a we don't, we don't, uh, we don't push this eh. Kasi gusto natin tao makatuklas. But then we need to try to tell it. Bring the entire tent to the storerooms in my temple. Then there will be plenty of food. Yan na naman. Test me in this way, says the Lord. Then you will see that I will throw the open the windows of heaven. I will pour out so many plants that you will not have enough room to store them. So sa mga kapatid natin, sa mga ibigyan natin, matalang Christians, mabago pang Christians, alam na alam ang verse na to for tithing and giving. Well, uh, sa totoo lang, hindi kailangan ng Diyos ng pera. Tama? Tama. Kasi marami siyang pera. Kasi yung gawain, kailangan mag-operate. Kaya tinuturo ito sa mga tao. Ngayon, 
ang ang 100% ng ating uh, kayamanan ay kayo nyo galing sa Diyos. Ang sinasabi ng Panginoon dito, sa inyo na yun na hindi akin hindi. Kailangan maintindihan natin to as we grow older as a Christian. So pag yung lahat na may mga tao nag-aaral, natapos mag-aaral, nagkatrabaho, maitindihan nyo that giving to church is really important. Why? Because you're seed, seed planting yan sa gawain ng Panginoon. Then God would overflow the blessings in me. One good example is Ate Red, no? Bago siya ng graduation, eh, nag-ikapu uh, siya. No? Bumalik, ang dami. Yeah. Malaka lang si Lord. Oo, oh, meron nyo. Oh, sabi sa inyo, titest nyo lang. Hindi ko kayo ni-encourage na bigyan kami ng pera. Pero yung palit lalagay kayo dyan, kung ano man ilagay nyo dyan. Ba, nakapos kayo ng cheese. Lagay nyo dyan. Ba, diba, maging sampo. Hindi, <laughs> hindi lang, hindi lang. Hindi ako nang pinapagaan ko lang yung turo kasi medyo iba na nakakompray. So, ganun lang. Next time, please. You should plant and sa gawain ng Panginoon. Alright. Job 42.10, God also richly blessed Job by doubling what he had before his trials. Si Job ay sinubukan ni Yahweh kasi si Job ay matuwid na tao. Ngayon sabi ni Satan, subukan mo yan. Tanggal niba lahat, tanggal niba pahala niya, susumpahin ka niya. Sige, nakatry mo. Sabi naman ni Satan, sige, uh, papayagan ba ako, bubuhi ko yan, pasaktan ko yan. Sabi ni God, sige, huwag mo lang papatay. Namatay ang mga kamag-anak, naubos ang mga kabuhayan, nagkasugat-sugat ang katawan ni Job. At inaasara siya ng kanyang mga kaanak at mga kaibigan. So, pag may Diyos mo, kalimutan mo na. Ayun, ganyan pala nangyayari sa iyo. Lumusan ka ng kabuhay at tapos magpag-praise-praise the Lord ka pa. Ang sabi ni Job, ba, mabuting bagay lang ba ang datanggapin natin? Pati mga pangit na din. And then God uh, surpassed the, 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 the testing. And then what happened? After Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord made him successful again. He gave him twice as much as he had. Mas madag sabi, double beating. Twice. The game, twice. Dalawang ulit ng kanyang pagpapala o kayamanan o pag-ari-ari. Yung mga uh, pupa, baka, marami, mas marami. So, pinagpala sa job after niya mag-ira. Hindi natin pwede sukatin ang kapangyari ng Diyos. Next slide, please. Kayang-kaya niyang gawin lahat. Yan, ang conclusion, napakabili. Diba? Tapos na. Now, I just want to spend like 11.20. So, wala ka na sila. Kaya, wala ka na target ka. In conclusion, we are not a loser, a failure without the ability to achieve in this life. When God sealed you, He approved of you when you were and that you were going to be. He has made you an ambassador for Christ more than a conqueror and place you in a leadership position, the head and not the tail. So, a person must understand that God will bless him. Alam nyo, kaya tayo nag-aaral, sa totoo lang, ay, patapos naman na. Uh, may isang, di ba, pag nakita kayo ng ngulenta ng garbage yun, nakawa kayo sa kanila. Hindi sa amin, may nangihingi pa ng tip eh. Hindi sa pag meron ako, binigay ko ng 20, 10 po, kasi syempre, pinakaaba yung trabaho ng ganon. Gets? Nag-collect ng garbage. Now, why that happen? Hindi natin sila nilalain. Because nagkulang sila sa education, hindi sila nakapagtapos ng pag-aaral nila. Hindi nila yung pwede nilang gawin. So now, we encourage everyone to finish your studies para may labang kayo sa buhay. Kasi, you will not have this leadership in in the future, in your career, in your life, without you finishing your studies. Kasi yun yung panlaban niya eh. Yun yung pagkakataon niya na you can go abroad, you can do business, you can do this when you finish your studies. So, we always encourage you to do so. Kasi, say, meron pa rin itong nangangarap ng elementary kill. When you grow up, when you, what you would like to, to be. I want to be ganito. I want to be a world upper. I want to be a snatcher. Diba? Pinakababang trabaho. Meron pa nangangarap ng pinakababang trabaho. Gusto kong pinakababang trabaho sa lahat. Yung pinakamalit ng sweldo. Parang ganun. Doktor, engineer, Ah, di ba? Marami, di ba? Marami, police. So, maraming ganon. But then, you need to understand that God wants you to lead. God wants you to be blessed. This is not the image of someone weak. You have power. You have heaven backing you up and have everything you need to walk in the light. And not in darkness, you must choose to believe that you're more than what Satan has told you about yourself. Yeah. But because Satan is a great deceiver, he will just uh, discourage you to continue in the Lord and not to worship Him and not to live in light and to go back on your old lifestyle. God gave it to you and never took it back. Binayayin ninyo sa biyaya sa'yo, tanggapin mo ito, hindi na mabawi yun. The time is now to start walking in who you are and what God has placed within you. May God bless you and keep you. Alam nyo, pag pinag-usapan ng pagpapala, lahat naman gusto. Pag pinag-usapan ng blessing, lahat naman gusto. Gusto natin lahat mag-bless. Pero tandaan nyo, nag-ubisa ang verse natin, sa pakikiusap ni Yahweh sa Israelite, sa Israelite, sa Israelita, na obey my commandments. Nag-umpisa doon. Wala naman sinabi niya, I will bless you, and then continue to obey. Wala eh. Obey and then bless it. So, simple lang yung prinsipyo ng Diyos sa ating lahat. 
pati sa ating church. You know, I already emailed Pastor Eric yung pinag-usapan natin ngayon sa chat, no? And hopefully they would respond kasi excited na tayo mag-ayon, di ba? Mag-prepare, no? Nung church natin, pipitura, tayo nang pipitura, no? Di ba? Tayo maglalagay ng ano, pagpasok ng mga visitors natin si Aragad. Gusto natin, ganun, eh. Pagpasok nila. Hindi pa kapapunta sa akin, joke. Pagpasok nila, nagsisi Aragad, eh. Hindi na lang. Gusto natin, thank you, Senyon. So, pag-pray natin. Tayo na po tayo. God bless us all. At uh, dawa, ang center natin ay parang pina. Palaking ng balas. Lord. Yay! Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you very much for this day. We glorify you even more with our lives. Life is tough. Life is uh, difficult. But uh, we trust you with everything. And uh, no matter what, how hard the life is, help us to overcome and uh, be a conqueror or conquer and be a winner of this life. And as we longing to receive the blessings that you prepared for us, and uh, we'd like to have the life that less worry and less financial stress. Tulong mo po kami magpagpala ang buhay namin at uh, patuntun ang mga susik para lumulad yung buhay namin at makita namin na magpagpala rin kami sa ibang tao, lalo sa nandakaw ng mga kababayan, kamag-anak, kaibigan. Buwi mo kami magpagpala sa iba para mag-bless din sila sa pangalan mo at buhay ka nila ng labis. Makaya po salamat sa pagpagpala ito. Ang tulog ka lang sa Panginoon Jesus. Yeah. At bago po ang lahat, gusto ko lang batiin si Eyo ng Happy 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 Birthday to you. Yeah. And I want you to live a long, a long and happy life. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Alito kay Eyo. Sakto. Pinakarang makaalam ka ng birthday mo. Mahal na mahal kita, Eyo. Bring up in Japan. Open it. Open it si Eyo. Eyo, salamat. Salamat sa reply. Pag nga-chat kita. Kada chat kasi besos. Pray natin si Eyo. Pag-pray sa iyo. Father in heaven, thank you po sa so pwede niyo uh, sa lahat ng buhay na ginagawa niya ngayon. Mag-aaral, for family's sake. So, Father, we pray, give more life to him, more birthdays to come as he wants you to reach to a peak of success in his life, in his career, in his personal life, in church life as well, as a great young man with great uh, skills in music. Thank you, Father, for blessing you and being with us since then, up to now. We glorify you because of His life. More, more health, more success, more love, more blessings, and uh, more power in His life. More, more birthdays. In His name, pray. Amen. Wala lagi pa siya yung baby. Ha? Wala lagi pa siya yung baby. Baka tito eh. Baka tito eh. Baka tito eh. Kaya na lang sabi natin. Happy happy. Oh, kapunta na kayo dyan. Next part daw is... Sige na. Buy ano na mi. Nandaan na dyan ang price. Kira doon na lahat eh. Sige, wait lang. Kwento yan. Ano ba yun? Kasi, yung vlog mo. Kamatay dito kayo ah. Kamatay dito kayo ah.